All right, nerds, here we go. Red deck, white stake. Doesn't get much simpler than that. The journey of a thousand chips begins with a single stake. So I will generally skip the first small blind if I get a free joker out of it. Holographic is maybe not the tops, but here we go. Let's see what we've got. We've got a straight right up front. Is this gonna be a straight run? We will see if the straights are okay or not. Uh, three, four, five, six. We are also looking at a straight draw here. So let's ditch the big stuff. Those aren't uh, those aren't massive straights, but yeah, here we go. Three, four, five, six, seven, right there. Looks like we are playing for the straight today, and now we can do pretty much whatever we want. But holy cow, is it interested in giving us the straights or what? Uh, so I'm going to see if I can't get that nine. Well, close, but I will take a high two pair like that. That's wouldn't take much to get us to the end anyway. So our first Joker is going to be holographic. Let's grab it. And it's the ancient Joker. Uh, every time, every time we play a heart, we'll get a 1.5 times multiplier and the suit will change at the end of the round. So we don't want to mess with our deck too much. Uh, and it'll change at the end of the round. So sometimes it'll be a diamond that gives us a multiplier, sometimes a spade, etc., etc. Uh, this is pretty solid for the early game right here, so I think I'll grab this as well. Although its usefulness will be somewhat limited. Why don't we get a third Joker? Why don't we triple up on Jokers? Uh, the Stencil Joker, $1 for each empty Joker slot. Okay, okay, so if we just keep three for now... A times three multiplier? Okay, okay, okay. I'm digging it. I'm digging it. Let's let's stick our multipliers at the end, though. We uh, jokers tend to be calculated from left to right, so let's so let's keep our times multipliers at the end for when they'll really count. And diamonds are going to be debuffed. I don't think we played a whole lot of diamonds. Well, at least a few. But looks like we're going for the club flush draw here, in my estimation. So let's get rid of anything that's not a club and play the clubs. How about here we go? Run it. Oh, yeah. Are we liars? Are we liars? Because our pants are already on fire. I agree. Let's go. Eight bucks. Eight bucks to spend at the store. I might like another. I might like another thing. Scary face is good because that incentivizes me to play face cards. But as soon as you get started on a face card run you're gonna hit the plant. So I think we're gonna stick with what we've got for now uh, and try to beef up some of our hands. We can only do one, so we might as well take the jumbo pack. Uh, or not beef up our hand, beef up something. Um, since we're pretty early in the run, I think we can go with a Wheel of Fortune. Nope. <laughs> it's always gonna be nope, folks. That's the secret. All right, 800 ships, let's hit it. Let's hit it and then hopefully quit it. Uh, what do I want to do with this hand? Uh, this is this is a fat lot of nothing except for eights. Maybe a flush draw. Maybe a flush. Let's try for the flush. Uh, King, Jack, eight, seven. Still a bunch of nothing. I don't know. Okay, let's lean into two pair. Uh, we're gonna have we're gonna have hot hands at this point, no matter what. We're gonna be several thousand chips over these these itty bitty baby blinds. So I'm going to kind of ignore jokers for now. Uh, we're just gonna grab a standard pack, maybe add something cool to our deck. Another ace of spades, I guess. Why not? Uh, although that was mostly garbo. All right. Uh, looking for a club-based flush right here. Do we have... No, that's a spade. I do tend to misread between clubs and spades at times. So, oh my gosh, this is going to be outrageous. For this point in the game, anyway. Not We're not going to be hitting E yet or anything, but, you know, I will take it. And minus five chips for every hand played, but still doing some work right now. Uh, and I would like to have more cards available in the shop for when we actually need to go shopping. We don't need to go shopping right now. Still got a bunch of common and uncommon Garbo in the shop, but I like what I like what Stencil is doing for us right now. So, okay, I can only play one hand type this round, and I haven't really committed to any kind of hand yet, so... Uh, and 
I'm pretty much winning in one hand anyway, so whatever I choose is going to be uh, pretty hot. Let's see if I can get something good here. A two pair. We can only play two pair this hand, but it's going to be the only two pair we play because we're getting outrageous chip counts for anti three. All right. Still ignoring most of the Joker stuff going on here. Foil holographic holographic and polychrome cards appear two times more often uh, if i were to sell a joker uh maybe that would get us over the top is it time to is it time to let the ice cream melt and get a and get a voucher that starts let's see maybe so maybe so because that would give us a times four multiplier i think i'm gonna go ahead and sell all my stock in ben and jerry so i can get this voucher because I want to start seeing some hot jokers. So, let's see. Up next is the house. First hand is drawn face down. I don't think it's going to matter when we're getting a times four multiplier uh, on our hands. So, looks like we've got a pretty wicked straight here. But I'm only going to discard two cards. And go for the two pair and see what that does for me. Even 20 base chips. Wow. Wow pretty wow wow wee woo so but i do need something with you here we go here we go uh each face card has a held in hand has a one to two chance to give you a dollar that would be super great if i could afford it uh adds a stone card to the deck would blind so we're gonna need to be leaning on some chips uh we're gonna need to up our chip counts so if we can start getting stone jokers in the deck Okay, that's going to look pretty good here in a second. Uh, but we might need something a little more effective than that even. So, let's see. What do we want to start going for here? This is a bunch of... This is a bunch of disparate garbage. Uh, I'm actually thinking of playing high card to just get rid of some of this. Uh, let's go ahead and get the get the low stuff out of here i'm just gonna play a high card maybe that'll get us out of the round and it will not but i mean high high card is pretty low but looks like looks like that enabled the flush draw absolutely perfect thank you very much appreciato there we go we're not getting the we're not getting the insta fire anymore so it is obvious that we need to start Okay, 80 chips of a hand played contains a flush. I I do tend to be kind of uh, flush-pilled a lot of the time. So that is going to help us out. So I think that is the hand I am committing to. Uh, we, could, we could run pair as a backup. Why not? You'd be surprised what pairs are capable of sometimes. First hand is face down and we got a stone card. Uh, which means I usually just play... The highest cards I can think of, and I discard the other three. A three of a kind. Wow, not too shabby. I would not have expected something like that. This is sorted by rank, so this is either a seven... Diamonds tend to come last in the suit ranking. So this is going to be... And if we do them by suit... Wait, suit rank. This is going to be a... This is either a... This is a six of diamonds, right? So if I'm reading the if I'm reading the room correctly here, yes. Okay, there we go. Alright. So yeah, I need to Okay, and that's gonna help us out immensely. Especially if we can get things out of here. Uh, but a stone card is not going to help us with a flush because it has no suit. We're gonna have to we're gonna have to wait a few hands to start seeing some results with the stone card get rid of it okay now two stone cards that's 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 something sometimes uh let's go ahead and do a pair actually with two stone cards in tow that's gonna pump the chip count okay there's some fire there's some fire stove is not superheated just yet six bucks six bucks oh my god Oh my god, that's big. That's big. Hanging chat is big. I'll take a hanging chat just about any day of the week. You, you know, re-triggering your first card two times. That is 
that is handy dandy. Uh, not seeing much in the way of what I would like to see in the shop, but let's go. Okay, another, 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 another. So let's see. Uh, we have this crafty joker, so we want to be maybe going for flushes. Uh, that might be the smart move here. Uh, nothing, no hearts, not a single one. I find that hard to believe. That beggar's belief. Here's a queen. Here's a bunch of stuff. Let's just play the two pair with a stone card. Two pair is solid with stone. I, I dig that. That's not really what we want, but now we're looking for clubs. Now we're looking to get into the club. And the bouncer is denying us entrance in the harshest way. Uh, here we go. Here we go again. Okay, I need to be putting the stone card at the front, though, because that's going to give us more chips. I'm not thinking very clearly. Uh, because I'm frustrated by my, by my flush draw stuff here. Get out of here. Give me two clubs. Okay, the game decided to be nice at the last minute. 11th hour kind of kindness it's not the it's not the kind of kindness i find super kind but okay our jokers are looking pretty pretty miserable at this point um i mean as long as we're well we're adding stone cards to deck we don't need to turn anything existing into a stone card so uh things are looking pretty rough Okay, I need to be paying more attention to what my Ancient Joker gives me as well. Uh, that will really increase the multiplier. Uh, I have not paid a lick of attention to that thing since I bought it, which is probably not the smartest. Uh, and it would probably be smarter to get an Arcana pack, maybe enhance some cards in our deck. Yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna make the smart move instead of trying to buff our Joker count. Uh, okay, let's go ahead and... Since that's a diamond, well, it changes all the time. So let's just make our queens. Let's give our queens some multiplier. All right, they're all they're all nice and streaky now. So here we go. Okay, uh, we got two pair, but we want to be going for the flusher. Okay, diamonds are gonna be what we got three diamonds in hand. So let's go for the diamond flush. That's gonna be that's gonna be big chips. Uh, as long as we don't get a zillion stone cards in hand. Um, this is not giving me much cause for hope, believe it or not. Uh, wow. Okay, so am I just chopped liver or what? There we go. Thank you so much. Another 11th hour. There we go. That's the kind of multiplier we want to see. Okay, we really want to start paying attention to that ancient joker. That's what we want. Okay. Uh, when the small blind or the big blind is just is selected, you gain a 0.5 times multiplier and destroy a random joker. We could probably go chaos if it meant scaling up. Uh, just kind of lean into something else and get new jokers. Kind of an influx of jokers all the time. I am kind of into this. Uh, well, okay. Times one molt is not helping at all because we have a full joker complement, so we need to get rid of stencil. Bye bye stencil. Go do some work in some elementary school classroom. I'm going to go ahead and take this. When small blind or big blind is selected, we get a multiplier. It's going to destroy a random joker though, which might suck if, you know, it takes away our ancient joker and yeah we're going to be getting rid of hanging chat at some point but i am deciding to lean into the chaos so okay but first up a boss blind the water no discards so things have got to look good from the start okay currently a times one multiplier so again not doing much for us it's kind of just but it is giving us plus 50 chips because it's foil. So it's doing a little more than stencil would at this point. What's the car? What's the suit here? Spade. So let's just play. Um, let's just play a pair and some and some dookie that we don't need. Let's hang on to our spades, even if they're low, because they will get that multiplier again. Not putting the stone card up front. What are you thinking, Jess? Come on now. Uh, okay, they're not being especially kind with the uh, flush draw, but I'm going to try to go for it. Okay, I can't discard. No, no, no. 
so I do have to kind of go with whatever. Uh, so might as well make it a pair and use the hand playing as discard. Looks like we're going to get out of this unscathed. Uh, not that the deck helped us in terms of getting a solid flush or anything. 9, 10, Jack, King. Uh, really got clogged a couple times there. Had to call in the plumber. Uh, we've got the pair. I think the pair is going to get us over the top. We only need a few chips, so I'm not... I'm not feeling some kind of way about it. Let's just get out of here. 2,000 chips for a level one pair. I think so. I don't think we've leveled up any of our hands yet, come to think of it. We've leveled up a pair once. Okay, yeah. Uh, maybe we want to start dipping into Uranus. But, okay, let's see. Does a stone card count as an enhanced card? That's my question. Because we could play stone cards and it would take them out of our deck and we would keep getting them. It would be a rotating kind of deal. But we can't buy anything right now. So I'm going to hang on to another... Well, hold on. Two out of five planet cards. It's time to start thinking about leveling up hands, I think. So let's go for it. Uh, we're going to leave Uranus on the table. And flushes. We are going for flushes. So we're going to go to Jupiter to get more stupider and you know what maybe a straight as a backup hand i don't know how useful that but we can get a straight flush potentially so uh looks like diamonds are going to be what hits in the next round so let's go uh small blind is eleven thousand chips and we're coming up on the needle we got to win in one hand oh boy needle is a run stopper especially for one like this but maybe Maybe madness, maybe there's going to be a method to the madness. What did it just destroy? It destroyed our flush thing. So that doesn't matter too much, actually. Uh, I think I just started leveling up flushes and I've got, and I'm one card away from one right here. Uh, so let's see. I'm looking for diamonds, but we're not really getting that. It just dropped hearts right in our lap. So that's what I'm going for. All right. Okay. Yeah. Mm, this is this is looking pretty iffy from my point of view. We are gonna have to get whatever Ancient Joker tells us for a flush, and hopefully rely on Multiplier to to do something good for us. Now, what Madness is also maybe gonna be bad about is if we buy a Joker and it immediately destroys it, thus pooching any chance of doing something good with our lives. And again, not putting the stone card up front is not gonna help either. Jess, you big dumb. So let's see, what is the what is the card for the flush? Each card gives a diamond when scored. Let's see if we can get anything to help us out in that in that vein. Ace, a jack, and a tent. Okay. Well, we might just play high card if this discard ends up being garbage or if we win. Okay, we've got a 10. We can get at least one multiplier off of this, but we got to at least put a stone card up front so that it triggers twice. And it's really going to chat my ass if, if Madness takes out our hanging chat. I would like it to leave that alone. So we need to give it some fodder. One in four chance for each tarot, for each played eight to create a tarot card when scored. Um, I can't really re-roll, but I need to give I need to give Madness something to eat. So if it were to eat this, I don't think I'd be too upset. But maybe we'll get a tarot card out of it. Who knows? Uh, we're gonna actually. It might behoove us to skip the big blind. We'd get a ton of money, and Madness would not eat a Joker. So if we like our setup as it is, maybe we ought to do that. Okay, less money, but I have a feeling the needle is going to end us here. Um, and if not, we're just going to get a ton of money. So I only have one hand. You got to make it happen in one hand with the needle. The needle, sometimes not so bad if you're seeing a lot of fire, but a run like this, I think, will end it. So we've got, what's the, what's the club? Clubs are what we're going for. 
So we need to make sure we've got a spade flush drop right in our lap, but we need to, and we've got a 1.5 times multiplier. I don't know if that's going to hit so hard. There's a 10. We got to get there. We got three discards to do it, and that's not helping. Okay, we've got one discard. Game, if you love me, well, we could just throw a bunch of stone cards out there and see what happens. That's just high card, but... Oh my god, this... Oh my, thank you so much. That could not have gone any smoother. I wish I could throw some stone cards out there to buff it, but I'll take the multiplier instead. And it's only going to be by the grace of God that this gets us over 11,000. I don't even know if that's enough to do the business but that multiplier is looking pretty good thank you yes twenty-five thousand chips i was not sure our hand was capable of giving that but now we are rich so tarot cards appearing more frequently in the shop and now we can kind of okay yeah we are gonna start needing to let's see riffraff could offset the fact that joker is destroying things but I think right now it's more imperative that we kind of level up some good hands. Uh, straights are not really happening for us, so I think maybe pair needs to be something we can lean on. And I, I also like leaning on Uranus when I get a chance. You know me. Big Uranus leaner. Tarot cards appear more frequently in the shop. That might help enhance our deck a little. Okay, and do we have enough money for a reroll? It's probably not smart. So, okay, next up, the Psychic. Play at least five cards. I, I can live with the Psychic, uh, especially if I end up with something like Splash. Okay, our Ancient Joker is gone, so we're not getting... Wow, wow. I think, I think skipping that blind and getting all that money was the move. Uh, if Joker had eaten... If Joker had eaten the Hollow... That would have been curtains. Uh, so we don't have to worry about a suit anymore. Uh, I'm going to ditch some of this and see if we can't get a stone card or two. Huh. Uh, I don't really care so much about flushes right now. I'm not committed to it at the moment. Wow, where are the stone cards when you need them? But that's a pretty hot full house. I don't think it's going to get us to 20,000, but holy moly. Uh, every eight played gets us... Wow, the, yeah, that was virtually nothing. Holy crap. But maybe we can do a little better here. We are getting times two multiplier now. Okay, yeah, so that gave us a wild card, which can be any suit. Boy, okay, we're actually doing worse now than we were against the needle but maybe we can get two pair here and have stone re-trigger a couple times that's going to be helpful okay i'm finally remembering to trigger stones but man that is oh wow wow ancient i guess ancient joker was doing a lot more for us than we thought but uh at this point it's gonna take Kind of a miracle. I'm going to try to lean into the club flush. And I think I'm going to come pretty close to getting it. If you could just give me a club game and not make me do high card like it looks like you're making me do. I guess we're putting a stone up front and relying on two sevens and two threes. Absolutely what I love to see. Well, I could make something a wild card. I don't know. I think re-triggering the flush is going to be stronger. But I don't think anything right now is going to be strong enough to... I don't think any deodorant is going to be strong enough to counteract this BO. Red steak, red deck, white steak. Couldn't be easier, folks. Couldn't be easier. Couldn't be simpler.